What's going on internet? IG here again with a really quick Linux preview of, of course, Elementary OS Luna Beta 1. Now, unless you've been living under a rock over the last 24 hours, you would know that the elementary OS beta has dropped. And uh, quite honestly, I think this has got to be one of the most anticipated beta releases I've ever seen. The internet and social networks are blowing up about it. And uh, so I'm going to take a really quick look at it here, telling you the five things that I love about this beta release. Bear in mind, it is beta, so I'm going to be doing a proper review when it goes stable and final. Okay, coming in at number five, I love the apps. The elementary team has developed a whole slew of applications to go along with their operating system, and it really speaks of the polish and the design ethos that these guys have behind their, their whole idea of what elementary should be about. It's not just an operating system, it's a platform that they've been developing applications for for the last two years or so. And they've been doing a fantastic job at it. So you have calendar apps, email apps, you have a music player, you have uh, their web browser, which they kind of adopted as their own and turned it into their own thing. They have a fantastic system panel here and they also have their own media player. Of course they also have developed their own entire uh, shell here called Pantheon and we'll be looking at that as well but the applications that they've developed are very clean, they're very nicely designed and they're very coherent with the overall desktop experience. Coming in at number four is of course the shell itself. As GNOME 3 has kind of evolved into its own thing, Ubuntu's Unity has taken its own direction, uh, the elementary team took their shell and they've really customized it and made it their own and uh, now it is Pantheon shell which it responds very nicely Nicely. It's very quick. The window effects are lovely and smooth. They're not very intrusive and it's not crazy animations. They're just nice, gentle, smooth animations that are really silky. No matter how many apps you have open, everything transitions very, very nicely and I couldn't be impressed more. Coming in at number three, we've got the share button. Uh, now this is something that OS X has been rolling into its releases for the last two releases or so. So now you do have a few plugins here on some of the elementary apps that they're going to be rolling out across their other apps as well. They're going to try and build integration in for the other apps as well but just for the fact that they're trying to develop an API here for sharing uh, stuff that you have on your desktop like calendar appointments or contacts or emails and such like post instantly posting to Facebook or Twitter from these apps is pretty sweet the number two thing that I like about elementary OS is that the performance of this distribution is very, very nice. I'm not going to say it's light on the resources because it actually does use quite a bit of the resources, but for me that's fine because I've got plenty of resources to kick around. Of course, if you were on a more conservative system, then it would probably conserve your resources a bit more. But for the resources that it uses, it is a very, very, very smooth operating system. Apps open almost instantly, even if you're not running on an SSD like myself. And I couldn't be more impressed just with the overall launch speed and performance of this distribution. And coming in at number one, the favorite thing that I like about this elementary OS Luna Beta is the fact that it just looks gorgeous. Everything is finely polished from the panel to the environment that you're working in, to the apps, to the theming, to the boot screen, to the login screen. Everything is almost pixel perfect, a design that anyone would be happy to have on their desktop. And I think the elementary team deserve a major thumbs up for that. The icons look nice, the widget sets look nice, and the integration with third party apps that you install from the Ubuntu Software Center are also nice as well. Again, full review is going to be coming very soon, but leave your comments in below telling me your favorite features of elementary OS, and you shall see me again very soon. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.